Hello, 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 Facebook, Facebook Live. Um, thank you for joining us. I'm going to get on with it. I did this um, talk yesterday on my personal page, and quite honestly, I was marshalling my thoughts as as I went along, and I was kind of speaking like this. Speaking like this, and it's quite dull, quite honestly. Um, thanks to everybody who sat through it, um, on, for my personal friends. And uh, at the end, I got lots of messages going, "Yeah, this has been great. Thank you very much." But it was a bit dull. However, I've already done this uh, presentation once to a, a group in Malaysia, once on my personal page. This is the third time. I'm going to do it again, and so each time I will get more and more used to what I'm saying. There's a point behind even this part of the story because when you give your uh, clients their um, their help, their assistance, what to do with their thing in whatever niche you choose, you're going to be a bit uh, at first. Of course you are because it's new. You might even be new to doing any broadcasting, you might be new to making videos, you might just be new to the subject. With my rider confidence, I'm not very new to it, I know exactly what I'm saying, I've said it for loads of years, so I'm a lot, lot freer with that. With transferring a business to the internet, this is a new subject, I only thought of it yesterday, um, but I have got experience in transferring a business to an internet. If you're an, a Pilates instructor or if you're a yoga instructor, you can only have a certain amount of clients in the day, and you might wonder how a physical thing like that could even be transferred to the internet. However, here we are, and maybe by a little bit of twisting our thinking, we can find out how we can fix that to the internet. I did it, riding instructor, and then I found a way to have a information that people needed, that helps people, of it on the internet. So without any further ado, I'll uh, get on with it. So as a riding instructor, two years, two years ago, that's all, two years ago, I, I had um, six people a day come, and there you go, there's no scaling up from there. I'm a service provider, I haven't got any more time. So, how, how, how do we, how, how am I going to buy a house on that? <laughs> it's not going to happen, the, the income has to come. If, if you own horses, you don't know how much they, they cost to, to look after, and all, all your money disappears. So, it's kind of uh, compulsory that, that I had to think about scaling up on the internet. I was reading various books about business and they're, they're all saying you need to scale up and scaling up is either employing other people, which I didn't really want to do, or going onto the internet. However, here we are in the coronavirus time, our coronavirus, and people have found themselves in this situation. So I think I can help. I'm creating an income from my internet uh, selling of uh, videos that can help people. I sell videos, hypnosis, DV, uh, hypnosis MP3s, hypnosis tracks, and um, a little book. I've got the book here. Oh, it dropped it on the floor. There we are. Control your stress and enjoy your horse. It's a little self-published book, published on KDP Kindle Direct Publishing. You load it in yourself. If any of you have got a copy of this book, see that? I think that might be backwards on this, but there you go. Control your stress and enjoy your horse. If you look at your copy at home, you'll realise there's a typo in the in the title, and that capital Y there is a little. Oh, it might have been that one. So unfortunately, I self-publicised, ordered a thousand of these books, and they've all got a typo on the front cover. However, <laughs> I've solved it now. My point is, don't be afraid. My point is, you don't have to be good to start, but you do have to start to be good. There we are. So, how did it work? So, I, I read books saying um, that yeah, I needed to get up to the internet. The, the, the book that was really good is called Expert Secrets by Russell Brunson. It's, uh, he's also got dot com secrets. They're both excellent. Um, he uses that to get people to go onto his platform providing um, landing pages and all, all the automatic emails and this and that, which I did buy. I do know that there's cheaper alternatives out there now, but that doesn't deny the fact that Expert Secrets and Dotcom Secrets are fabulous books to get you into 
exactly what you need to do. I've also, um, oh, I've read loads of books. I was reading books like Nobody's Business. Um, there's a, a guy, a British guy, Andy Harrington, and there's another guy, Jeff Walker. They're all saying the same thing. So don't keep thinking that there's another shiny thing, there's another shiny thing. There's no shiny thing, there's just the information you need and then the hard work to make it happen. So I had to identify a area of my life that I could then put onto the internet which would help people. I stuck with horses because that's my business. It's also quite easy for me because over the 10 years I've been doing this rider confidence course I've got quite confident at saying the same thing over and over and over again of course I do whatever business you're in or whatever business you're wanting to start out of a hobby or whatever you say and you know you do the same things over and over and over again that's your book so for example let's just um, Let's just get it off, off horses for the moment. Let's say there's, there's always a, a niche from the, from the experience that you have. If I say to people, oh, hello, lovely party. Um, my name's Carl Greenwood, I train horses. Uh, what do you do? And people are like, oh, I don't do anything much. I just file things in an office. Don't belittle what that is. Some people, don't know how you do that they're absolutely hats off to you for filing things in an office because have you seen dodgeball funny film <laughs> funny film dodgeball and uh, the the tax inspector comes and <laughs> opens his his, uh, his covered door and all these files from previous years all the accounts and invoices and receipts all, all pile down onto her some people don't know how to file and possibly somebody starting a business who's doing rare breeds sheep and they're chasing them all over the fells of Cumbria till God knows when in the morning could use your 20 years filing ability to find out exactly how to do it because don't underestimate what you know I'm gonna get it off filing because obviously I just I, I don't even know why I picked that because there we are if we've got something else so for example if you, you might think that what you've got isn't of use at all so let's say um, right we've got various animals you might have seen them we've got the wolf dogs we've got animals for filming uh, we've got some tarantulas in there they're kind of kind of cute in their way and uh, let's say you've worked in a pet shop and, and you did the, the, the tarantulas and the fish say, oh, and um, now you've lost your job and you're thinking what, what, what do I know what do I know what do I know it just takes a little twist in your head to find out that you do know something. So if you look how many, I'm just absolutely randomly saying this now, if you googled how many people have got arachnophobia in this country, or not even in this country, it's the internet, around the world, how many people have got arachnophobia and then you've got an expertise about tarantulas and we've got the same things that we say about tarantulas all the time so you feed them little crickets or locusts or whatever but when they molt when they when they outgrow their skins and they they lay on their backs and they they lift themselves out of their skins they push the old skin off and then they're sitting there all vulnerable and if you don't get the crickets out <laughs> the crickets will start eating them and their, their little fangs are all soft right at the start and they can't move. So we tell this story, which gets a little bit of a, oh, never thought that about tarantulas. We're always saying the thing that no tarantula is poisonous. I mean, the, the worst ones, the arboreal ones, they'll give you a, a sting like a, a bad bee sting. But overwhelmingly, none of them are poisonous. They, they, they'll bite you if they're frightened. They rear up first because they're frightened. If you go on Google, and look at tarantula's paws. Have a, have a look. It's one. They've got the cutest little paws that are like, like puppies' paws. And if you wanted to start finding ways of, of getting arachnophobes to even consider the possibility that they could tolerate a tarantula, you might want to start there. Look at the knowledge. I know just about nothing about tarantulas that's about all i know because they're you know we look after them we feed them we got to do this if you've worked in the pet shop for the past 15 years think of everything you know and and then you start going 
how can I do this? And you're like, right, okay, how many arachnophobes are there? How many partners of arachnophobes who might want this information so they can start making their lives better? If you wanted to then get talks going, if you wanted to get information going, if you wanted to sell your own little tarantula houses, then you could target, obviously, tarantulas and reptiles has got a link with alternative lifestyles you'd target people with tattoos to people who like heavy metal people who like motorbikes chances are that you know people have got tattoos of spiders you, I, the world is out there for you to tap into so i think i'll shut up about spiders now i, I, I don't know why. but the point is whatever you whatever you've been doing for the last 50 years is your expertise that's that's what you've been doing and i promise you when i first read this book and it's called expert secrets and it was like you're an expert at what you do and you just need to to find your audience and tell them what they need to know i honestly thought i didn't do anything i thought what do i do i, I dress up as a knight i dress up as an alien i go on the telly uh, that's Doctor Who, by the way. I was, you might not know this. I was, I was all the monsters for David Tennant's Doctor. So there you go. But at the time, I dress up as an alien and I dress up as a knight and I ride around on a horse. No, not particularly well. What on earth have I got to offer? And it genuinely, genuinely seemed like there was absolutely nothing. So by a little bit of thinking, I can pick something. Now, of everything that I do, I could have picked tarantulas, I could have picked exotics, I could have picked rider confidence, I could have picked uh, dressing up as a as a monster. I could have. Uh, I've got a friend, John Davy. He he goes to uh, well, he's not now, but he goes to America and does talks and presentations on everything. That a really funny talk about his time with me doing the monsters. I could have done that but I didn't because I, I chose something else to do. But the point is, you may not realise the thing that you've got that comes from your... that you've been providing this service on an individual basis over and over again, saying the same things over and over again. So there's so much that you, you can think of. What, where could I put this? So you've got to identify what you're going to go for, what your niche is going to be, the thing that you know about, the thing you enjoy, um, the thing that you've repeated over and over again from your experience. It needn't even necessarily be your career, but most people at this point will be thinking about how they can do their career on this job. But yeah, I could have done anything. So I chose right, right to confidence. I decided, well, I suppose... I suppose I do know quite a lot, and then I thought about it and thought, this, the thing about rider confidence for me is that I've already been doing it for 10 years. Nobody else in the world has got that experience. Added on, because I've done it for 10 years, I now have the conversations that I've had with people. 3,000 people have been through. I've had 20 conversations with each of them. That's 600,000 conversations all about rider confidence even just in those conversations I'm a, a, I can't think of anybody else who would know more than me and then a little voice goes that's because you're an expert I hate the word expert <laughs> I'm not saying look at me I'm an expert so just see how it goes it's like as suddenly you realize that you do know a lot and add on to that my um, filming which I happened to do years and years ago um, did a few battle scenes I suddenly I thought well no one else has done that and done that and it also happened that I'd been a hypnotherapist for a while as well so all this came together and I was like you know what if I could bundle all this up I'm sure this will help people and there we go I was decided what my niche is what I'm going to do and now I need to get it out to people who who am I going to get it out to so Right, you have to think of the person that you are serving. I already knew my customer, thank you, because we'd been talking. Um, so I just took my, my general customer, which is kind of like, 
Uh, female, because uh, mostly female. Is it 95% of, of people are females. 95% of the people who come on my course are females. Um, I tried to think of the most typical one. Uh, the others of a certain type. Um, and then I just thought of who would be the most ideal customer. Okay, well, it's not someone who show jumps, and it's not someone who hunts, and it's not someone who events. So, because they're probably, not always, don't, I'm not into getting an argument here, but they're probably okay. I need someone who's actually lost their confidence. And there was a key, it's like, yeah, they used to be more confident, they lost their confidence. And then I thought, what kind of person lost their confidence? Well, it's someone who used to be confident, yeah, so that would have ridden as a, a, a young lady, because uh, we're still sticking with um, mostly females. Okay, so then they'd had a break, probably had, probably had a break, and I'm trying to identify this person, and eventually I give her an age, I give her a name, I give her a career, I give her a, a husband, a husband's name, um, how she came about to have this horse, various um, incidents that she'd either um, encountered or more likely just seen, or even more likely just heard about, or even more likely simply imagined over and over again until she was in a state. <laughs> there we are, then you've totally lost your confidence. And I, I got this perfect customer who I could really help, and they named it at, at that person. Of course, then I, you get all the people around it who are nearly that person, and you encompass 80% of your customers. So I knew my product, and so let's say, uh, let's say that it's, um, let's say that it's social anxiety. Let's say that somehow in your job you've done social anxiety. Your product is uh, various ways to become uh, more, more confident, uh, more confident with the opposite sex, um, um, dating, dating is a big one. I don't know, what, whatever you do. Um, and you've decided to go down that route. Your target is maybe um, divorced men who have lost their trust in women, or um, it, young lads, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, yeah, young ladies, um, young, young people who are wilting wallflowers, and it's like, oh, you just need to get up and get out, and, and, and you know how to help them. Well, you might not want to target your um, advertising at them. You might want to target your advertising at their mum because their mum is beside themselves that they're not going out and not socialising and there's no grandkids on the horizon. So then you, if, if you're uh, of the same age of, of, uh, in life, you've got your teenage kids, well, then you've got a bond there. So there's always a thinking, who is my ideal customer who my experience can really, really help? And that's, that's where I'd got to. So then it was like, how to actually do it? Look, if I can help you at all, put the questions in and uh, we'll get to how to actually do it. I hope you're already feeling inspired that perhaps what I've said could be something that you're thinking of doing. Now, you may be thinking, yeah, that's all right, but this was two years ago for you, or this, uh, uh, we're, in, we're in it now. Well, I do get you, and all I can say is, if you do what I did, it worked for me, but I dithered and I did it wrong. Now, there's loads of, there's this advi advice, this experience that I'm sharing with you is just from me and what I've learned. There is loads more experience out there on the internet from people who are sharp talking, sharp shooting. I made a seven figure income in two years doing this thing and you can da, 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 da. Yeah, all right then. But they're, all they're doing is trying to charge money. I promise you I'm doing this utterly and utterly for free because I'm not expert enough to feel that I can charge money for it, especially now in this coronavirus time. 
it's just not right. I will continue to make money out of my control your, your horse um, and do the best that I can. But this isn't for making money. And also, when you go out to these experts, the chances of getting ripped off and someone taking their money and not doing the do is fairly high. There's some sharks out there. That's also my story. I did get stung. I got stung by a guy from Preston called Danny. I suppose I better not say any more than that. Took £2,000. I, I knew what I was doing. It was like I'd bought this Click Funnels, which is a very expensive landing page system. And this guy said that he knew it inside out and he didn't. And he said that he'd, he'd build the. All, all the sales of the different products so the book goes down here and you get a chance to buy a video with it or the video comes down here and you get a chance to buy a hypnosis with it he said he'd do that all i have to do is put up the video um, and he didn't do it <laughs> so there we are um, however something that was good and i'm just going to digress a little bit here was um, he spent his time instead building these social networks to get more and more customers and he had a, a, a meeting uh, like a uh, master he called it and I went along to that and I met some other people who also been uh, had their money taken and not not had their their selling platforms built so one of these people Chris um, obviously he had his money took as well he's, he's from America he flown over from America for for this thing, but there we are. Anyway, we he then went off and realised nobody was going to get him out of it, and he studied it. He went to the the platform, um, ClickFunnels. There's cheaper platforms. I'm not promoting ClickFunnels. I haven't got an affiliate link. I'm just telling you what happened to me. And he's um, done a super expensive learn it all. He now is one of those people. You know, when you get a problem on the internet and you you say to people, um, this won't work, that won't work he's one of the people that answers the problems so there we go so i then got talking to him and he's now on board with what i'm doing and, and fixing all of my doing that original job i'm out of breath i'm just trying to explain um i hope we're getting a picture i aren't having time to catch the comments they're a little bit small and i'm trying to keep a train of, of what i'm thinking so anyway so there we go. So I wrote the book. I've been saying the same thing all the time. Writing the book was super easy. So I just put on a speech to text microphone, shut my eyes, pretended I was in the reception room, said what I say all the time. That was half the book done. Now I need to get myself out there. I need to build the audience to let them know that I've got this service for them. So to build your audience, I just had to start making content. You may have heard we, uh, people going on making content. You might have heard it all over the place. It's such a horrible word. Um, but it's this, videos, audios, podcasts, media. Um, uh, there's a, a, a thing called Medium, I think, and WordPress where you can write articles. So you don't have to be video savvy, but video is more powerful than, well, no. Audio is, is overtaking video because how many people listen to YouTube videos while well, they just put the video off, turn the, turn the volume off and then they go and wash up or you put your headphones on, put your YouTube video on and then you go and pick up horse poo or whatever. So <laughs> those of you that don't do horses won't know what I'm talking about. Um, but yes, yeah, so audio is going to overtake. Podcasts are a very good move. But for me, and I'm talking about my experience, hoping that I can help you, video has worked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and build my audience. So I put my video on and I went out and I made my first video. It, it, it was so nerve wracking. If you know anything about horses, you stick your head above the parapet and say, I'm going to say something about horses. You know that you're in for a kick in. So that put me off for months, months and months. And then finally I got round to doing it. It won't be good. You don't have to be good. You don't have to be good to start, but you do have to start to be good. Not many people are gonna see it, so it doesn't really matter. But yes, I am with you that it does take a bit of a plunge. I can help you with that plunge. My best advice is to just do a top tip. Today's top tip, and you can make it really short. Today's top tip, in, in um, keeping tarantulas is <laughs> today's top today's top tip in keeping a are you starting a new business well today's top tip make sure you just keep on on your filing because 
whatever, whatever. Make it really quick. This has been Fred Blogs on whatever you've called your business. I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's top tip. That's it, 10 seconds. So if you go out and you record that 10 times and it doesn't even have to be good, just for you, you know that you're not going to use that those 10. So record them 10 times and then look back and just say, which is the most relaxed? If necessary, record them another 10 times. If it's a five second clip of your tip top tip, there we are. it'll get you into the swing of it. Not many people are gonna see it anyway because nobody knows who you are. Then I put a bit of money behind each one, I think 20 pounds, and I directed it towards that audience. Now we just spoke about audiences, so if you're doing the social anxiety one, you might want to direct it to mothers of um, 15 to 25 year olds, and think of something that they'd possibly like, who, who likes computer gaming. <laughs> you, you're in with a chance of, of hitting an audience. Um, or, or of course directly to the people themselves um, people I don't know I don't know what you do for arachnophobes um, I'll have to have a little think about that but you could do you could find those but people arachnophiles people who like tarantulas we've already talked about targeting people with tattoos and people with motorbikes because it's, it's just the demographic of the thing so pick your audience and I put £20 behind it and I did that every week for um, about 40 videos. Each time you make a video you are giving value, you are not making yourself look good, you are not saying how wonderful I am and you are certainly not saying buy this thing, you're just giving help at the end of the day if people can turn if people with no money in this coronavirus crisis can watch your videos daily and end up with all the information they need to get themselves out then they're going to be a fan for life and come the day that they need your thing they're going to come to you because you've already helped them don't even think about doing anything other than helping people for 40, 50 or even 100 videos. Thing is nowadays is you can put 10 videos out a day, so 100 videos could be 10 days. You don't have to think about how many should I put out a day. There's so many platforms, you can put one out on TikTok, one out on Instagram, one out on Instagram stories, you can put a meme out on Facebook stories, you can do your Facebook page, your personal page. That, and, and LinkedIn of course and there you go LinkedIn is, is the Facebook uh, as Facebook was nine years ago it's about to get massive so if you want to make yourself a, a profile on LinkedIn now now's the time that LinkedIn is going to get big the organic reach organic means you don't have to pay for um, adverts like we're now locked into with with Facebook with Facebook business pages you're locked in more or less to paying for adverts not so much with your personal page but nonetheless LinkedIn is super it's about to kick off for short short form stuff quick quick little things TikTok at the moment is populated well it was populated by um, 10 to 20 year olds in the last year that's gone up from to 20 to 30 year olds and quite a lot of over 40s as well it's getting really massive but the point is even if it was even if it is populated by 15 year olds in 10 years time they're going to be 25 year olds and they're going to know exactly who you are because you were there so anyway I'm, I'm digressing whatever platform you do put out your information your best information help way to file if you're starting a new business or the way to take care of a tarantula and the little memes about their little feet and you'll study on arachnophobia and maybe a little bit of, of helpful phobic so maybe you could do an interview with a hypnotherapist and talk about that or a psychologist that's content as well and just really get people to, to engage with what you're saying after you've done a hundred videos, you're then going to say to everybody who are your fans now, because you've been helping them and helping them, I'm writing a book. What's your main question? What would you like to make sure is in this book? 
and you've already got half your book from everything you've been saying for the last 10 years and the questions will come. You can even answer them on the screen and then just copy and paste them to a Word document. And there's your second half of the book. The book has been made by itself. I've got to wave my book again. Once you've got your book, you go on Kindle Direct Publishing, you upload the content, you upload the cover, and then I, I sold it on Kindle. Um, they take a cut, of course. I'm not selling a huge amount. I think I'm selling one every couple of days or something like that. I'm also selling it through my um, landing page platform, which is called ClickFunnels. They're on much cheaper alternatives there. I don't want to keep saying the name uh, too much, but I do just want to tell my story, so I'm not going to bother. I'm not promoting ClickFunnels. I'm not affiliated to it or anything like that. But anyway, by putting it through ClickFunnels, people can say, yeah, I want that book, and then they go onto an email list and they can get a reminder of this week's video, which is purely help. So it's like, this week, we're going to be talking about how to keep a, a moist substrate for your tarantula or whatever like that. And it goes onto the video, and there we are. And then they start getting more and more help. Uh, I always put, at the bottom of my um, emails, I should have done this from the start, and I've only just started doing it. At the bottom of my emails, I just do a simple PS, and then I'll put... If you want to find a helpful link, here are the helpful links below. And I'll put the links to the free reports, and the free this, and the free that, and then the cheap this, and the cheap that, and then the more expensive this, and the more expensive that. I'll get onto the products in a minute. The first product, of course, is my book. Now, if you don't want to go to the trouble or expense of a physical book, you can always do a PDF version. So fair enough, these, these books are a couple of three quid to get printed. Then the, the pain, you know, if you're buying a thousand books, that's quite a lot of money <laughs> when we're all panicking. And then uh, the payment for the delivery and the delivery of the envelopes, they each have a little card envelope. I think it's £3.50 to post them. So we've rapidly come up to a reasonable amount of money. Um, so you might not want to do that, but you could do a PDF. People will quite happily pay £7 for a PDF or something that will help them from somebody that has already chucked out a hundred videos that's already helped them so this is the way I work here obviously I don't want to be a money-grabbing fool because of how I was brought up um, a lot of people offering these services you can you can go and get that you can go buy them you might get your money's worth you might get absolutely nothing because they're money-grabbing fools and they treat you that you want to be a money-grabbing fool um, this is the way that I've, I've arranged it in my head. I wasn't brought up like that, um, and I don't like thinking of myself like that. Your content has gone out on 100 videos, 200 videos, there's probably 300 videos on my page now, and you could, all of this in this book is in that content. You can go and get it for free. It is there, you can watch it any time that you like. But if you want this little section, this section here on bucking, yeah, I'm bucking horses, and you, oh, I, I want that little section. Well, now they're in the videos. You can go and get them for free. You can sit down. You can find them. There's even search terms. It's not hard. You can search term bucking through the Carl Greenwood videos, and it will come up with the title. You can go on my YouTube, and it will come up with the title, and you can watch it there. But if you want all of the advice together in a real neat useful volume that's what you're paying your seven quid for so you've got the advice i've done that for you but if you want me to go to more help for you and you can't be bothered to put the time in to go through the videos then put a little bit of money my way and i'll put the time in for you and that's the way that that works and so it goes on up the value if you can't be bothered to read a book but you'd like it in a video so you can sit down and relax, well, that's a bit more money, and, and so on and so on. That's how I've arranged that I'm helping everybody, but at the same time, charging some money for the convenience and the packaging and all-in-one placiness of it all. And 
there you are that's that's how I've worked out my pricing structure which is called a value ladder if you've got value out of the free free videos and then the book then you get value out of the first video then you get value out of the first hypnosis so then people will be like I want some more of this this is good and then they'll trust me and they'll buy my new products and it will help them and there we are we're all a, a big happy family so that's the principle of it how's it done I've already said that you go to Kindle direct publishing and publish your book you can sell it on a Kindle version so they'll just they'll just take a cut on your own um, landing page platform where people will add into your email now someone might help me here I think Facebook are already doing it you can keep it all within Facebook but I'm not quite sure how that works so I'll shut up now I'm doing it on click funnels there's loads of other landing pages that are much cheaper the people put in their emails you then have to give the emails to your new content your content should always be help people be of value to your audience I could put any amount of content of me looking cool aren't I good look at me doing this thing on this horse and jumping fire and having fireworks and look at me on Doctor Who and look at me filming and da, 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 da. pointless what people need is value going to them so everything I do is either entertaining or informative or both there we are um, you must always think about what, what your audience needs from you because you are the expert. I hate the word expert. I was in uh, oh, your horse and they meet the expert. <laughs> um, there we are. So then we've got those in. We've got our videos on. Um, Chris Lefebvre, oh, you might remember I, I was talking about this mastermind that I went to. Chris Lefebvre has done everything. He, um, if you are seriously wanting to go down this line, he'll do it on a 10 percenter. So you, and, and nobody does this nobody does nobody does it so when you go to these experts that are all trying to sell things um, they're like give me give me your two grand give me your three grand and that's what I lost <laughs> and uh, we don't want to be losing two and three grand at this point so um, yeah he'll, he'll arrange that on a percentage um, if you want to go down that route Look, I've run out of things to say. I haven't run out of things to say. I've got loads to say. I can feel them all at the back of my mind, but I didn't make you know, cards. Any questions, my friends, please put in your questions. Um, it will give me subjects to talk about tomorrow. I can help you. I know that you're going, yeah, well, you've been doing this for two, for two years. Um, yeah, but 100 videos is not necessarily two years it's just I did weekly videos you can do daily videos you can do your morning video you can do your breakfast lunch time tea and supper video and you can soon get that done I appreciate what you're saying the best time to plant a tree was 50 years ago but the second best time is right now please I'm gonna go now because I've lost track of what I'm saying so Bob your questions in and I will more than happily help them rem uh, uh, answer them remember every question that you put in will help somebody else so get going put your questions in share this post to anybody and everybody who might be thinking what the hell do I do now that I can't do my regular business or or Thanks for listening. See you tomorrow, I hope.